Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 1, Lesson 10, Problem Set. For number 1 it says, create a ratio table for making lemonade with lemon juice to water ratio 1 to 3. So, um, lemon juice to water, 1 to 3. Show how much lemon juice would be needed if you use 36 cups of water to make lemonade. Um, I'll do a few of them here and then we'll go right up to 36. So if lemon juice, if it's 1 to 3, then it would be 2 to 6. And the way I'm getting there is um, for every 1 I go up, I'm going up 3 there. The other way I could say it is if I multiply. So I can always go back to the ratio value. So if I multiply this one by 3, to get that value for it, I have to multiply this one by 3. But notice again, I went up 1 from 2 to 3, which means I have to go up 3 here. So we're looking for 36 cups of water. Um, so I'm going to put 36 there, and I can go back to this. 3 times what? gets me 36. And the way I could figure that out is 36 divided by 3, which is 12. So I have to do times 12. So now, to get that value, I would do 1 times 12, which is 12. So 12 cups needed. How is the value of the ratio used to create this table? Well, when I use the value of the ratio of 1 to 3, I can multiply from that point to get me to any point in the table. So if they had said uh, how many cups of water would be needed if I had 50 cups of lemon juice, well, I know I'm going to start at 1, and I'm going to get to 50. So what times 1 times 50? 50 will get me there. That means I can do 3 times 50 to get me the amount I'll need of water. So I use that ratio value to find other values within the table. So now let's take a look at 2. Ryan made a table to show how much blue and red paint he mixed to get the shade of purple he will use to paint. He wants to use the table to make larger and smaller batches of purple paint. A says, what ratio was used to create this table? Well, right now, um, I have a 12 to 3. And it's blue to red. The way I want to do this is I want to get that into a ratio value. And I always take my first number, that goes on top. Second number goes on bottom. Now, what can go into both of these? 3 can. And I see that 12 divided by 3 is 4. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That's the ratio that, I that it was used to create this table. A 4 to 1 ratio of blue to red. And I want to state blue to red to make sure I have order. I did blue to red because it was first here, second here. Um, and again, the number I pick, 3 over 3, that equals one whole, meaning I'm not I'm making equivalence because a ratio table shows equivalent ratios. So I have to pick a number that goes into both. And this is my ratio value, which is 4 over 1. So this part was A. Now let's take a look at B. How are the values in each row related to each other? So when we say row, we're looking side to side. So 12 to 3, 20 to 5, 28 to 7. So um, I would say the blue paint is, so uh, for what? So to get from red to blue, i got to do times 4. So it's 4 
blue paint is four times more than red, and I want to state the other way too. Red is, so now I'm looking, how do I get from blue to red? I divide by four, but I can't say red is divided by four. Um, I could say four times fewer than blue. That works. Um, or I could say red paint is one fourth of blue. Because when we divide by four, we're actually saying um, it's multiplying by one fourth. Our last one says C. How are the values in each column related to each other? Um, this one we're, we're looking column wise, so we're looking vertically. So 12 to 20, 20 to 28, 28 to 36. Over on the other side, 3 to 5 is 2, 5 to 7 is 2. 7 and 9 is 2. So um, I'm going to make my statement. Uh, the values in the uh, columns are increasing based on the ratio. So uh, every 8 I go up in the table, for blue I'll go up 2 in the red. That can be simplified to for every, uh, so let me get that written down, 8 to 2. So for every 8 on the blue, I go up 2 on the red. Well, that's a ratio of 8 to 2. That can be simplified down to 4 to 1. So I'm using that ratio, that ratio value of 4 to 1, to uh, work within my table. So um, that's how the values in each column are related to each other, is I'm using my ratio to get up there of 8 to 2, which actually is an equivalent to 4 to 1. Um, so that's just looking at columns uh, compared to rows for B and C. So I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the rest of your problem set.